The default font type and size for any new email message you create is going to be Calibri size 11. You want to see? Alrighty. Come up here, click on new email, click in the body of the message, and you'll see up here in the basic text group that it's Calibri size 11. So if I come down here and start typing, it's Calibri size 11. Now if you don't like the size of it, or you don't like the font type or both, I can show you how you can change the default so any new email message you create will have that new type of font or size. But before I show you how to do it, I want to give you a warning, at least when it comes to changing the font type, the default from Calibri to something else. When you change it, you're changing it so you cannot use the, let me click on the options tab, the theme fonts. There's the theme group and the theme fonts. Now if you don't know anything about themes, then watch my earlier training video on themes because that's a really detailed training video about themes. And being able to, well, update your fonts in a single click or your colors and effects because your themes, when you click on it, is made up of these elements here. That you can update everything within the body of the message with those colors, fonts, and effects. So let me go ahead and click off. So if you're okay with not using themes, then you can go ahead and change the default font type to anything else. And even if you do and you still want to use themes, that's okay. It's just it's going to take you a couple of extra clicks to be able to update the entire body of the message to include your fonts as a theme font. So assuming that you watch my training video on themes, let's go ahead and close out of here and let me show you how you can change the default font type and size for all new email messages. By coming up here, clicking on the File tab, going backstage, down to Options, selecting Mail, and then going over and selecting Stationery and Fonts click on it and there you go we've got three that I'm going to be covering here first of all is for all new email messages the default font type is a theme font which is Calibri size 11 It's showing you a preview of it there and then when it comes to replying or forwarding messages you can have a different type of font but it's the same font just a different type of color and then when it comes to composing and reading plain text messages well that has nothing to do with theme fonts because theme font has formats applied to it and plain text messages strip down all formats so you can't have any theme fonts in there anyways so let me show you that in just a minute but first of all new email messages click on font and you can see that it's going to be a theme font or the body font that the default is Calibri so if you come over here and scroll through and you find another font you won't be able to use themes for your fonts which we'll go over just a little bit more later on as a quick reminder if you haven't watched the training video but let me come up here and delete it and type in Comic Sans, that way I know my font and I don't have to scroll through to find it. And after I type in the first few letters, select it right there, and then let's choose size 12, and you can see a preview of it down below. Looks good, click OK, and great. That's what all my new email messages, the font type and size, is going to have in it, in the body of the message. And then when it comes to replying or forwarding email messages, well, we can change that. And if you want to change the color, be sure that this is unchecked. Pick a new color when replying or forwarding, which, by the way, if it's checked, it's an auto color, as it says right here, that it will pick a new color when you reply or you forward on an email message. But I'm going to uncheck that because I want to keep it to a color that I like with every single reply or forward that I do. And then come over here, click on Font, and again it's body so it's a theme font so if I want to be able to change that and let's do how about Arial type in Arial select that uh, size 11 and then the font color well that's kinda of bleached to me I need something with a harsher blue a deeper blue let's say click on the drop down arrow and let's do well I have it right there blue but if I click on more colors and I go to the standard tab I can choose that one right there, and you can see the updated selected color versus the current color. It's a richer blue. Click OK, and ooh, I like that preview, so I'll click OK. And then finally, for plain text messages, where there's no formatting at all, click on Font, and I can come up here and type in Times New Roman, select it, or you can scroll through it to find it, and size 12. I like the preview, so I'll click OK. There it is. Great, we're good to go. Click OK, click OK. Now when I click and create a new email message, and I go to the body of the message, there you go. It's all, as it says up here, Comic Sans size 12. Now as a quick refresher, when it comes to using themes, and you want to be able to change the font within the body of the message to another font, 
come up here, click on the Options tab, and there's the themes. When I click on the Fonts drop-down arrow and I try to choose one from here, it won't update this because why? Again, when you right-click on this and you look at Comic Sans by clicking on the drop-down arrow, it's not in the Theme font section. It doesn't have Body next to it. And so, if you decide after for maybe one email message where you're like, okay, this is the one where I want to be able to use theme fonts and to be able to change it, then just select your text and right click and then click on the drop down arrow and then choose the body because the heading, as we talked about in the themes training video, is for your headings when you apply a heading style to it. In any case, I digress. I hope you watched the video. So I select body. Then that way, when I come up here and I choose either another theme, which is a collection of colors, fonts, and effects, or I just want to choose a different type of font, not update the colors. When I go through here and I hover over any one of these, like Frank Gothic, click on it, it updates it here. Because, well, if you can't tell there, you can, of course, right-click on it, and it says Frank Gothic. So that could be a temporary fix where you're like, okay, I don't want to change the default fonts for all my email messages back to a theme font, the body, or Calibri just this one time, well, then go ahead and do a, a temporary fix and change this so it's the Calibri theme font, and then you can change that and update it in a click. Otherwise, if you like theme fonts and you want to be able to change them and use the themes here, then you don't want to change your default font type for your email messages. But again, go ahead and watch my training video on theme fonts. Otherwise, for me, I don't use them, and I go ahead and change my theme font to the default Arial Size 10. And for my replies and forwarding email messages, that's a good reminder. Let's close out of here and say no. That when I select an email message here and I click on reply, and I start typing in something. Oh, there you go. You can see anywhere when I click within the text that up here in the basic text, it's Arial size 11. Great. In fact, let me go ahead and pop this out. And as you recall in an earlier training video, let's come up here and click on Format Text, and we go to the Format Group. Now the HTML and Rich Text, as we discussed, that when you select it, it doesn't really do anything down below. But when you click on Plain Text, and remember we said that any Plain Text messages is going to be in Times New Roman. Well, when I click on it, it says, okay, first of all, you got formatting. That's going to become Plain Text, because Plain Text does not contain any formatting. Go ahead and click on Continue. And what type of font does it change it to? Well, click anywhere within it, click on the Message tab, and it's times, well, there you can see, N for New, Roman, 12. And you don't get any options to apply formatting because plain text is just that. It's plain. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.